take then, Pablo? How long does that take for a manager to get his ideas across, to put his stamp on this new team? Well, it's not that easy, especially that early in the season where some of the new signing, of course, went to Chelsea because they probably they trusted the manager in the way they saw Chelsea play in the last few years. And, uh, uh, and now, obviously, uh, a new manager with a new style, uh, new ideas. And it takes a few weeks, uh, a month at least, to, to bring uh, you know, a new style of football and to, to find the right players for each position. And uh, it's not going to be... That is for Chelsea, um, but okay. That was uh, the decision of of the owners to uh, to sack Tuchel to bring uh, Potter in, and and, and I, I wish him all the best because, to be honest, uh, what he's done at Brighton it's been incredible. He's a young uh, manager that uh, we have seen uh, Brighton playing some great football. Obviously, the expectation at Chelsea is completely different where he come from. But of course, um, you know, uh, he, he would try his best, but at least a month, I would say, okay, is what it normally takes for the managers to, uh, to put the players right and, and bring their new ideas into so a new club. So the fact that the game has been postponed, then you've got the international break. Is this a best-case scenario for Potter right now with Chelsea? They're not going to play the first game until yep. the first of the next month. Absolutely, yeah. No, it's definitely what in my favour, the fact that, that he, will, he will have been able to to be on the training field and, and walk through things and, and give his ideas and, and vice versa. Uh, and as Pablo said, it's, it's about finding out the connections. You know, which, which players are, are better on the field with each other, you know. But he doesn't have a lot of time. He's lucky he does have time because of the postponements, but it's probably not enough. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.